Stacy. Good morning, Donald. Good morning. How are you? I am good. I'm very excited to be speaking to you today as a fan of Scrubs. Oh, right on. So, yeah, tell me, what is happening with your TV and movie career right now? Uh, you know, things are good. I have a television show that's airing this July called The X's. We're in our fifth season. It's probably going to be our last season, so if you haven't caught it yet, now's a great time to catch up on it. Um, it stars myself, Wayne Knight, and Kristen Johnston. And then I just signed on to do a movie with uh, Paula Patton and Terrence J. So, you know, I'm, things, are, things are going well as far as uh, my career is going. And, you know, excellent. it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Yes, excellent. Um, it is a beautiful thing. Tell me, I hear that you are a grilling expert, and I have had a chance to watch one of your crash cookouts at the beach. Right on, good. Tell I'm... me more, a little bit more about that. Okay, so I partnered with uh, the National Pork Board, and, you know, we're just trying to reintroduce pork to the grill. You know, a lot of people, for some reason, got afraid of pork because it was, you know, when we were kids, our parents cooked pork all the way to the point where it seemed like it was cardboard. But what, we, what we're trying to do is reintroduce pork to the grill and new ways to cook pork. And so if you go to the website, www.porkbeinspired.com, backslash grill crashers you can find a bunch of tips and tricks on how to cook your pork you can find the video that you actually watch with me crashing a grill in long beach and then you can also find uh recipes which is great for uh if you want to uh impress your friends uh today i'm actually cooking something right now uh, i'm cooking a porterhouse and a new york pork chop uh, my porterhouse is brined uh, with a hard cider, some maple syrup, some salt, some thyme, and then my uh, New York cut is actually rubbed with uh, a uh, uh, with cumin, with paprika, with sugar, salt, pepper, cinnamon. Believe it or not, which is brings out a completely different flavor in the pork chop. I threw them in some freezer bags, and then I threw the brine and the rub in the freezer bags. And uh, I'm going to throw these bad boys on the grill and get it started pretty soon. That actually sounds delicious. Oh, it is um, delicious. All that, the mixture of seasonings is amazing. I do love um, cinnamon mixing with the paprika and cumin. It, it yeah. has a nice little zing. It does. Um, so where can we find some of these great recipes? At www.porkbeinspired.com. Hash I mean, sorry, backslash, not hashtag, backslash <laughs> grill crashers. At that website, speaking of hashtags, uh, you can take grill fees, which is, you know, you're proud of what you cooked. If you cook something on the grill, if you cook some pork on the grill, be proud of it. Take a picture of it, of yourself, and uh, your favorite cut. Put it up on your favorite social media site and hashtag it, grill pork. We'll find you, and most likely, you'll wind up on our website. If you have a, so if you have a recipe, so a hashtag please grill share it with us. Hashtag our... grill pork. Okay, hashtag grilled pork. Yeah. To um, post our grill feeds to. Yes. I like that grill feed. Um, yeah. Standing next to the grill, grilling up your favorite meal. Yeah. Um, so, what are some other flavors, tips? Any other tips that you can give us on because pork Absolutely. is easy to overcook. Yeah, it's also um, it's also it's, very easy to cook if you do it right. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I would suggest getting a digital thermometer. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Some people have thermometers that are like, you know, the traditional thermometers. I would get a digital one because you can get an exact number off of that instead of having to round it out. And if you really want your pork to be juicy and full of flavor, cook it in between 145 and 160 degrees. 145 is a medium rare, 160 is a medium. Anything over that, you're going to get into the cardboard area again. But if you cook it, if you can keep it in that area, you have, it's juicy and whatever flavors that you've incorporated into your pork will pop. So, and there's one thing I think it's important to keep in mind that once you remove it, it still tends to cook the, cook a little bit. Right. It, let it so sit for three hot. minutes. You know what I mean? If you let it sit for three minutes after you cook it, uh, it'll be even better. I forget to do that sometimes. The, sometimes I like can... to eat it so hot it's ridiculous. It comes off the grill and I'm like, <laughs> ah, ah, I got to eat it. Let it sit for three minutes. Let it sit for three minutes. Those juices can redistribute itself through the meat, and then 
and then you know it'll, it will cook. So I I think that one forty five, one fifty range is a good range. Yeah. I like I'm I'm closer to the one sixty range, but hey, that's me. That's you. Okay. Um, and I guess you know. My readers will be seeing this after Father's Day, but I guess you have a new baby at home. You'll be celebrating Father's Day. Yes. Uh, yeah, we got a. We have a two-month-old at home. It's crazy. I'm still not sleeping. <laughs> I was say, how, how's that going? Yeah, I'm still not sleeping. We have two under two actually, uh, my wife and I, and that's. It's uh, two under two. That that means not a whole lot of sleep in your house right now. Not, well, we got the older one to fall. You know, he goes down seven to seven right now. It's the newborn that's like, holy cow! How much do you need to eat? Excuse me, number one, and can I get can I get some rest at some point during the day? Yeah. Well, congratulations on Thank your you new very much, two months old. Nice you and your see. wife, and I, you will be definitely celebrating Father's Day. And thank you so very much for all of these brilliant tips. I am going to get my readers looking at porkbeinspired.com. Please do. And find some of these great recipes. I'm going to be checking them out myself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me on your uh, site. I appreciate it. Okay. Great. Thank you, Donald. Have a great day. Later.